and welcome to the channel, The Wealth Mindset. While well, you coming over from Immaculate Wealth, welcome. All right, we're going to get into it, comparing wealth building paths, academic credentials, or real world experience. And you can have both, but we're going to get into it. All right, I'm going to see the pros and cons of pursuing academic degrees for wealth building. The benefits and challenges of focusing on real world experience. How to apply the value. How to apply personal wealth building journey how to apply what you learn to the wealth building journey strategies to maximize value regardless of your chosen path or whether you're considering college contemplating a career change or reevaluating your wealth building strategy. This video will provide insights to help you make informed decisions. Let's begin by breaking down this in context of degrees versus grit. All right, let's explore the benefits of pursuing academic degrees for wealth building. So there is high earning potential, no doubt. Uh, many degree holders earn more over their lifetime and that would be, I would say it does depend on what you studied, what you studied in school. And, you know, if you didn't study the right thing, you may fall beneath the curve. May not, may not get as much. Or certain high-paying fields require specific training, specific degrees. Is a structured learning environment, comprehensive curriculum covering theoretical foundations, access to resources, mentors, and networking opportunities. Credentials and credibility degrees can open doors in competitive job markets. Some positions explicitly require academic qualifications. A specialized knowledge, a deep understanding of complex subjects. Math, physics, and other sciences. Career advancement degrees often necessary degrees are often necessary for senior positions and they can fast track promotion in corporate environments when elevating uh, when evaluating the academic path consider how these advantages align with your long term goals and the time and effort required to achieve them. Next, let's examine the benefits of focusing on real world experience. The advantages on real world experience. Get immediate pay, or at least in a lot shorter amount of time start earning and saving earlier without student debt.
and I would encourage if going to school, I would encourage to get to not get loans, but to get uh, to have a scholarship. At least most of it scholarships. Anyway, uh, potential for faster financial growth, practical skills, develop hands-on skills valued by employers, and learn to navigate real workplace challenges. Network building, you can still build your network, create professional connections from day one, opportunities for mentorship within industry. There's career progression, potential for faster advancement based on performance, and the ability to switch roles or industries more easily. Entrepreneurial opportunities, identify market gaps and business opportunities. Develop skills critical for starting and running a business. Industry-specific knowledge. Gain deep understanding of industry trends and practices. And stay current with an evolving with evolving market demands. And considering this path, evaluate how these advantages align with your personal goals and the effort required to gain valuable experience in your chosen field. This structure allows us to compare both paths separately and then highlight the synergy of combining them, providing a comprehensive view of the topic. Advantages of combining academia and experience. Synergy of academic knowledge and practical experience can be powerful. Here's why having both can be advantageous. Comprehensive skill set, theoretical understanding from academia, and practical application skills from real world experience. Increased adaptability, academic foundation allows for quicker adaptation to new technologies. Real world experience provides problem solving skills in diverse situations. Enhanced credibility, degrees provide formal recognition. Experience demonstrates the ability to apply knowledge effectively, better decision making, academic training and critical thinking, real world wisdom and navigating complex situations. A broader network, academic connections from university, and professional network from work experience. Innovation potential, academic research skills combined with practical industry knowledge, ability to bridge theoretical concepts with market needs. And then there's career flexibility, qualifications for a wider range of positions and the ability to shift between academic and corporate environments. High earning potential, again, combination often commands higher salaries. More opportunities for advancement in various sectors. Now by leveraging both academic credentials and real world experience, individuals can maximize their value in the job market and increase their wealth building potential. The key is balancing the time and effort invested in each 
to achieve optimal outcomes. Evaluating paths with evaluating paths with academia and real world experience to help decide between academic credentials and real world experience. Let's apply both together. All right. So maximizing value on your chosen path. Whether you choose academia, real world experience, or a combination of the two, here are strategies to increase your value. An academic path, choose a degree with high market demand, gain internships or part-time work during, you know, while you're in school. Network actively within your field and pursue relevant certifications along with your degree. For the experience path, seek mentors in your industry. Continuously upskill through online courses, workshops, continuous education in that field. Take on diverse projects to broaden your skill set. Document your achievements and build a strong portfolio. For both paths, set clear achievable goals with timelines. Cultivate soft skills like communication and leadership. Stay informed about industry trends and innovations. Build a personal brand that showcases your unique value. Focusing on these strategies, you can increase your dreams and your likelihood of achievement. Potentially reducing the time and effort required for your success. All right, making your decisions and next steps. Assess your current situation. Evaluate your financial resources, time availability, and personal commitments. Be honest about your strengths, weaknesses, and your learning style. Define your long-term goals. Clarify your dream outcome in specific measurable terms. Consider how different paths align with this vision. Research your industry. Investigate which qualifications or experiences are most valued. Look for trends that might affect future demand for skills or degrees. Calculate your personal values and compare the results to inform your decision. Create action plan. Set clear achievable milestones for your chosen path. Include contingencies and flexibility for changing circumstances. Commit to continuous learning regardless of your path. Prioritize ongoing skill development. Stay adaptable in our rapidly changing economy. So remember, success isn't guaranteed by a degree or years of experience alone. It's determined by how well you leverage your chosen path to create value for yourself and others. Now, if you got some value from this video, please like, share, subscribe so we can grow our channel. And check out our email course, Youth to Wealth, link in the description. All right.
This is the Wealth Mindset. And we'll see you on the next one.